Now, when you think of the Horn of Africa, you probably picture this. But hold on to your jackets because, as it turns out, there are a handful of cities out there that have decided to give winter a shot. Hello. One, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. Tucked away in the Ethiopian highlands Addis Ababa, the capital of Ethiopia enjoys a peculiarly cool vibe compared to its tropical neighbors. At a lofty altitude of about 2,400 meters, 7,874 feet, above sea level, it's like the city had an existential crisis and decided it wanted to be a fridge. Despite lounging near the equator, Addis Ababa's idea of a hot day is when the temperature almost hits 20 degrees Celsius, 68 degrees Fahrenheit, and a heat wave consists of having to roll up your sleeves. Wait, the cold season. Nights in Addis can make you question whether you've stumbled into some secret penguin sanctuary, with temperatures diving into the single digits. It's like the city's way of saying, welcome to the capital of cold comfort. Two, Asmara, Eritrea. Nestled snugly in the chilly embrace of Eritrea's highlands, Asmara emerges as the dark horse in our frosty Horn of Africa showdown. Perched like an insomniac penguin at a lofty 2,400 meters, 7,874 feet, above sea level, Asmara's weather gives a frosty middle finger to its lowland neighbors. When night falls, temperatures play a morbid game of limbo, daring you to shiver your way through 6 degrees Celsius, 43 degrees Fahrenheit. So, pack your thermals and a flask of hot cocoa for this winter wonderland of a city. Oh, and let's not forget the hauntingly charming Italian colonial leftovers that haunt Asmara's architecture. These relics are like the ghosts of spaghetti-eating invaders past. The city's climate may be cold as your ex's heart, but it's also as well-preserved as a mummy sarcophagus, with its grand boulevards that could host a parade of yetis and scenic views that are downright airy. Asmara has seduced the UNESCO folks into making it a world heritage site. Who knew freezing your whiskers off could be so enchanting? Three, Dere Dawa, Ethiopia. Nestled in eastern Ethiopia, Dere Dawa stands proudly as a portal to the Somali region, as if beckoning you to enter a realm of adventure and mystery. Perched at a lofty altitude of approximately 1,020 meters, 3,346 feet, above the relentless sea level, Dere Dawa enjoys milder temperatures that make you question if you've accidentally wandered into the twilight zone. Daytime temperatures, a scorching 25 degrees Celsius, 77 degrees Fahrenheit, make you feel like you're slow roasting in an African barbecue pit. But don't be fooled, it's the city's nightly descent into the chilly embrace of 10 degrees Celsius, 50 degrees Fahrenheit, that'll have you wondering if you accidentally stumbled upon the set of an Ice Age-themed sitcom. This pleasantly surprising chillness has transformed Dere Dawa into the region's equivalent of a Siberian spa. It's no wonder Dere Dawa thrives as an economic and transportation hub. Who wouldn't want to hang out in a place where the weather practically begs you to stay indoors and order takeout? 
Serving as the lifeline between Ethiopia and Djibouti, Diri Dawa ensures that goods and people can move seamlessly between these two bustling nations. All while its multicultural character is shaped by traders who've apparently come from all corners of the earth to haggle for the last blanket in stock at the market. So, you're ever seeking a chilly, slightly surreal adventure and you're tired of the usual tropical vacation, consider Dire Dawa, the world's coldest gateway to the Somali region. Four, Gondar, Ethiopia. Famous for its medieval castles that have seen more drama than a soap opera, Gondar sits perched at a chilling 2,133 meters, 6,998 feet, above sea level, making even Dracula reach for an extra blanket. This ancient city's weather swings from a balmy 17 degrees Celsius, 63 degrees Fahrenheit, during the day to a bone-chilling 7 degrees Celsius, 45 degrees Fahrenheit at night, giving new meaning to the term frosty reception. Gondar's architectural wonders, including its castles and churches, beckon tourists who have a morbid fascination with Ethiopia's history. As visitors brave the icy winds while exploring the city's historical sites, they might wonder if they've stumbled into a Stephen King novel set in Africa. The cool temperatures provide a welcome escape, but be prepared for goosebumps that rival the city's storied ghosts. Gondar's twist on Ethiopia's climate is like a dark comedy, offering a unique experience for those who dare to venture into its chilly embrace. Five, Hargeisa, Somaliland. Rounding off our lineup is Hargeisa, the crowning jewel of the self-proclaimed Somaliland, a place where the only thing hotter than the temperature is the geopolitical tension. Perched precariously at an elevation of approximately 1,334 meters, 4,377 feet, above the sea level, Hargeisa boasts the climate that's like the embodiment of a rebellious teenager. It's cooler than its neighbors just to spite them. In the daytime, temperatures flirt with a cozy 28 degrees Celsius, 82 degrees Fahrenheit, making you contemplate life choices that led you to this quirky corner of the world. As the sun dips below the horizon, Hargeis's nighttime temps drop faster than your hopes of ever understanding women, plummeting to as low as 15 degrees Celsius, 59 degrees Fahrenheit. You'll be sugaring in your boots or sandals if you're trying to blend in. Hargeis's frosty demeanor is all thanks to its lofty location and unique geography, as it snuggles up on a plateau surrounded by hills. It's like nature's way of saying, let's give Hargeisa a bit of an identity crisis when it comes to weather. Sure, it's still warmer than your average North Pole vacation spot, but at least you will not melt into a puddle like you would in other parts of the Horn of Africa. So, come for the delicious Somali goat meat, stay for the refreshing break from the sizzling heat that will make you question your life choices even more. From the scorching streets of Addis Ababa to the quirky charm of Asmara and the cool vibe in Dyerdala, these cities are like the region's air conditioning. 
Even in the horde of Africa's hottest spots, you'll find a refreshing surprise. Smash that like button to help us stay alive on YouTube. Catch you in the next video.